Hey guys, it's BTV back again with some Circle Jerk Tour games. Uh, today we have my round one game three. Uh, you can look up my other two games, which was against uh, Corey 2600 and Martin respectively. And uh, now I have my third game against Fish 1.8, who I'll refer to as Fish. Um, he, uh, I think you all should know Fish because he's like. I think he went to like round 3 or round 4 of OST, I'm not really sure about that, but yeah. So today I face him and uh, I'm obviously trying to get all 3 wins so that my team can ha have an overall good win-loss record and like we our team can move on to the next round. So yeah, um, I bring the same team as the last, as the last time. Because I absolutely love this team and it's like hyper offensive and I basically love hyper offense oh. yeah, over any other style. Like I don't really like balance but I can play any style but hyper offense is my favorite play style. So Fish brings a very balance-ish look balance looking team uh, and I think this is um, Kratos Manos team which is... Yeah, I think this is a, this is an RMT which I was not uh, sure when I was playing this game. But after I finished like playing this game and I showed this replay to Doc, he was like, "Yeah, this is anti team. You could have like asked me, and I would have given you the team." But I think it's more fun to just play uh, without knowing the team because you like learn more from the game, and yeah, it's like more fun to just play Pokemon as just a as a fun game. So, yeah, enough with the rambling, I'll just move on to the game. So, yeah, so I just, I look at his team and I'm like, yeah, this team is like, um, uh, balances like the last game. And I think my high over uh, my hyper offense should be able to like, um, uh, totally destroy his team. So, I, pre I, I feel pretty comfortable about this matchup and uh, I think, uh, like, just looking at this team, Gengar has a great matchup and um, I didn't know what he was going to lead with so I thought Gengar would be a good matchup and I just led with Gengar here and he leads with the Heatran which is fine because uh, I didn't know what kind of Heatran this is because uh, like I told you guys that I didn't know this was an RMT I just started playing this and uh, yeah I I think this is like a Stealth Rock Heatran and like probably like Scarf Lander or something like that or basically something along those lines, or I was even keeping, a, like, a, a team preview, I thought even the Zygarde might be Scarf, but, yeah. So, uh, he leaves out with the Heatran, and I'm like, um, in case he wants to go for an aggressive uh, play, and go just go for the Rocks, because, uh, 220, uh, because uh, he might think I'm Scarf Gengar, and uh, Scarf Gengar doesn't okay Heatran with, like, even Focus Blast. So if in case he wanted to stay in and go for the rocks, I just directly click focus blast here as he turns out to be scarf and he hits me with the earth power which I live and it was more of it was more in my favor to live because I think it does like a 90 to 102 or something and yeah and I unfortunately missed the focus blast and the focus blast does a min roll of 112 so that was a guaranteed KO on the Heatran because I'm Spec Scar and it's really unfortunate that I ended up missing the uh, Focus Blast because uh, I've lost m all momentum turn 1 and yeah which and this matchup which was like uh, pretty winnable and was in my favor is now a bit against me like this is still pretty this is still winnable but I gotta play my cards right so yeah that, 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 that miss was really unfortunate here and yeah, what can you do? You just have to continue playing the game. And I was like uh, kind of distressed out at this point, but I still like uh, didn't give up and just continued playing. So uh, since he's locked into Earth Power, I thought a Lando is a pretty safe switch in, and I just ran into Lando here, and he goes into the Scissor on the Lando, um, which is fine. I he probably predicted my double into Landris, and he thought it was a defensive Landris, uh, just based on the team structure. Yeah. Um, I, uh, he like people tend to think this is like a uh, CM Keldeo with Breakblitz neck and Scarf Card Chomp or something like that, but 
yeah this is pretty straightforward it's scarf cardio and offensive dragon z um guard jump anyways this is earth plate lander as you guys already know from the previous video and this is an adamant earth plate lando and the calc for uh, earthquake is i believe 45 to 52 and i just uh, so decided to just smack the scissor with an earthquake here as he decides to go for bp probably this is uh, their main reason he goes for the bp here is he anticipates me to be a more of a defensive variant and um uh, if i like set up rocks he just wants to defog away defog them away and he does not want to have rocks on his side so yeah bb makes a lot of sense on his side but i am an offensive lander and i just smack him with the earthquake and uh here um i don't anticipate him to stay in like risking a possible roll so i i expect him to like hard into something that can take on the landers like his own opposing landers so i just hard into keldio here as he does go into this landers and i catch him very well by doubling into the keldio so um i'm maintaining offensive momentum because i obviously need to maintain offensive momentum because he has like uh, defensive mons on his team which are like hard to break and after the turn one miss i have to play more aggressively so that i can like um match up match up better against him so yeah I got in the Keldeo here and I double out again here I believe yeah I double out again here into the guard champ uh because I predict the picks there and uh guard champ is rock so I just directly go for the rocks there and getting up rocks is huge because it it chips away anything that wants to come in so he goes out on his uh, tapu bulu here and uh, yeah I just go out in the metagross because even if he's like z fighting metagross lives one hit so metagross was a good play over there so yeah and now um i don't anticipate him to like stay in obviously but uh, he could go in as heat run but earthquake would be a fairly obvious uh, like uh fairly like known play or what what do you call that yeah basically a predictable play so i didn't want to directly go for the eq there and in case he goes out in the scissor like uh, he thinks like grassy terrain is up and metagross is like weak or something like that I definitely didn't want to go for the earthquake there. I just click meteor mash here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I just click meteor mash here and um I smack the landers with a and I I get a crit, which is unfortunate for him, but I honestly it doesn't make a big deal. I mean, it doesn't make a big difference because he just sacks the landers here. Like if like he could have still preserved his landers, but for some reason he just decides to sack it. Um uh, Yeah, he I think uh, he wanted to like free switch into Caesar. So it kind of makes sense to like sack the landers but landers is his landers is the only thing that stops my own landers and yeah and after his landers like dies um he has no ground reses like technically tapu bulu is a ground reses but yeah not really uh, as you'll see later on in the game um yeah so he goes on the scissor and uh, to, for a fairly obvious roost and i just go out into my landers because Uh, after I get an SD up, uh, it's gonna smack any member of his team like uh, pretty well. But uh, here I just decide to go out in the uh, just go for the EQ, I guess. Yeah, I just go for the EQ here because the blue was fairly obvious, and I want to. And this is my game plan right here. I want to SD on a turn where there's like one or two turns of grassy terrain left. So if so so if the blue comes in. and the grassy terrain ends and i'm a plus 2 then eq from adamant earth plate landers which is a plus 2 like does a huge chunk to the tapu bulu and since bulu is like really annoying to my team uh, getting rid of the bulu will be nice for me and uh, yeah here uh, since i didn't know what kind of a team this is and since i didn't know this was an rmt i just uh, got in the metagross here on the z fighting which Don't sort of be a huge mistake because I just lose my metagross and yeah I'm like all I'm like kind of behind in this game and I need to make more aggressive plays to like come back in this into this game but yeah that's yeah but that's the game so um yeah so here I have a couple of options I can like uh go into my tank road or I can go to my gengar so obviously I choose the more offensive road and just go into my gengar here and uh, yeah i just click shadow ball at this point and um it does 48 to the specs uh, 40 yeah 47 to the pecs and it's like at 54 but at this point 
he I don't think he like realizes his specs because he switches out fearing the ghost TMZ or something. And he goes out of the Zygarde here as I just smack him with another Shadow Ball. And here he makes a really good read and he just goes straight for the Toxic here as I double into my Tang Growth. Yeah, yeah, he goes for the he goes for the Toxic here. And here I need I know I need to play aggressively and the Scizor is like fairly obvious. But if I go to the Landris and he ends up double toxicing, I lose. Yeah, I, I basically lose the game and I don't want to let that happen, obviously. So I just stay in a hidden power ice as he does go to the scissor and I end up losing all momentum again. But uh, but it's still fine because uh, I can still play around. It's not, it's not the end of the world. But like if I went to the, if I went out on the Landris and the toxic, uh, the game just ended. So obviously uh, that that would not be good for me. So I need to like make aggressive plays, but I also not make overly aggressive plays, which will just like at this point because of the uh, folk class, I'm like already behind in this game. But I can come back, and for that I need to make aggressive plays, but not overly aggressive plays, if you know what I mean. So he just goes under the scissor here as. Um, yeah, I, the defog is fairly obvious. I just go into my uh, Landris. Uh, yeah, I just go. No, I go into my Keldeo here, fishing for a burn. Yeah, yeah, I go into my Keldeo here, fishing for a burn because I need a burn to like stay alive in this game. Uh, as I go for this card and my luck is not so good, so I don't get a burn obviously. And I just go into hard. I just hard into guard jump. Yeah, predicting the T spikes. I see this goes for this card, and luckily for me, he doesn't get the burn. If he like got the burn there, then it would have been like pretty pretty bad for me. It would not be unwinnable, but yeah, it would have been like pretty huge. So yeah, obviously he's not gonna stay in a Toxapex on a guard champ. I just go for the rocks there. As he does go out in the top of Bulu. And here's the critical point. So now he has like four turns of grassy terrain left. And like I told you guys before, since I've already lost my Metagross here, I need to get a sword stance on the turn grassy terrain ends so that I, so that I can smack the bulu really hard so that's 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 basically the game plan here as i just uh, switch out and switch out the guard charm in uh, the tangled because guard charm is like outrage and earthquake and it can't like touch the top of bulu so i just switch out in the tang growth here and yeah i just go for the hp eyes here i believe because i have no other play yeah, I just go for the HP eyes here. Uh, yeah, and he's going to obviously defog again. Uh, but this time I bring in my Landris, and there are like two turns of grassy terrains left. So that's that. I'm I'm keeping count of the number of grassy terrains here, so that I can get up get off uh, SD on the turn it ends. So here I get off the SD as he goes out of the Tapu Bulu, and yes, here is the bang on turn where the grassy terrain ends, and I'm Earth Blade Adamant. Um, max attack EQ from Landris and Tapu Bulu does not appreciate that for sure and it does it does like 84% yeah that's like that that almost like took off like uh, more than three-fourth of his health so that's 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 a huge win-win for me because Tapu Bulu is the is the only threat left on his side of the field uh, and Garchomp or Keldeo can like yeah Garchomp can clean up if it gets off an SD so yeah, I just need to weaken the Tapu Bulu as he goes for the Hong Leech here, and um, since it's not Grassy Terrain boosted, it, do it does like only 51 to me, and I obviously end up living it, so I can fire off another huge hit here as he just sacks the Tapu Bulu because he has no other sack left. And uh, he goes out on the Heatran here. Heatran is Scarf, so obviously I need to switch out. I just switch out on the Keldeo here, and uh, here I predict him to stay in because... My switch out will be fairly obvious as he stays in. I just goes for the fame tower again. I catch him on the switch, uh, on the stay in there. And here, here I make a huge prediction here, and I just double out in the Landris, and he does go under the Toxapex, which ends up being huge because I I knock it out with the Adamant Earth Plate uh, EQ. So he goes under the Heatran here. I just uh, I don't want to sack my Landris yet because Landris is still useful in this game. So I I decide is like. Sack off my uh, Gengar in case he went for the Earth Power and he got off a good roll on the Keldeo. It'll knock out of the Keldeo. So Keldeo is obviously still good in this game. 
Yeah, so I just go into the Keldeo here. I mean, uh, I just sack the Gengar here and get a free switch into my Keldeo. And I just click Scarred here. And uh, yeah, the game is basically over at this, at this point because he sacked the pegs and Garchomp just cleans up. And there's absolutely no way for him to like uh, come back. And I go for the Scarred here and I get the burn. Which is, yeah, that basically signifies the game is over at this point. Uh, and yeah, he's like, ugh. Uh, I really don't know what, what does he mean by that because I obviously missed the focus blast and I didn't complain about it but people like tend to complain a lot which is like kind of annoying but I guess I, I've learned to ignore that and I've like oh, yeah I've like turned out to be more patient and cool than initially when I started so obviously I don't hit back so yeah that's fine I guess and yeah, so I obviously just go for the Scarlet and I get the burn, so that's huge. Now, I can just continue uh, playing normally uh, as this game is like over at this point. And yeah, so this is cool. I just uh, click HP eyes here and yeah, I go on a guard strong, I just set up the SD as he goes for the U-turn. And he goes out of the heat run. Even if he has flash cannon, he can't knock me out. Max roll is 49. He doesn't get the max. He does get the max roll. As I just go for the EQ here and I just knock out the heat run. And yeah, he goes out of the scissor here as I just sack my uh, guard trump. And um, min roll is 45 for the earthquake and max roll is 52. As I get a min roll the first time and he gets off a roost. And I just go for the EQ again. And this time I get off a max roll. So the scissor dies and now I just stay in and I just click EQ again as the Garchomp doesn't even have E speed and this game is over so yeah that was a cool game and that bounce back was like uh, pretty huge because that win was pretty important if our team needed to like qualify and I'm glad I could go 3 you know because there were people who went 0-3 in my team and yeah going like 3-0 you know, me and Colin went 3-0 you know, I believe yeah me Colin and Tesso all went 3-0 you know, and that gave us a chance to like progress in the in the game and i believe paycard like went one and two but he got hacks in like two games so yeah no he got hacks in one and he just lost one so yeah that's unfortunate and uh, adf test went 0 and 3 which is whatever that's like unfortunate i guess um uh, so yeah so th these are my this is my round one where i go three and oh i so uh, our team qualifies to the next round uh, which is top 16 i believe and i'm glad we could make it there so yeah i'll be back with my next game and the next game is like uh, fairly stupid and funny because uh, yeah i'll just continue it in the next video i guess so yeah see you guys i hope you enjoyed this and yeah be peace